Could genetically modified Bt maize affect insects in a maize field? Eva Schulteis and her team from the University of Aachen investigated this question. For three summers, they trapped insects in a field trial, put them into alcohol solutions, and later identified the species in the laboratory. On a trial field with 40 parcels, genetically modified Bt maize was grown, as well as a number of conventional varieties, as a comparison. We wanted to find out whether there were any differences in the communities of insects, the composition of species or the density. We wanted to see if these creatures would be negatively affected by Bt maize. Bt maize produces Bt protein in all parts of the plant. The Bt maize used in this experiment contained three different Bt proteins, all of which act against various maize pests. Eva Schultheis was interested in insects that live in the foliage or the male blossoms at the top of the maize plants. Among them are herbivorous insects, which directly ingest Bt protein, and predator insects, which indirectly take it up through their prey. As a result, we can say that we were not able to record a so-called Bt effect, that is an effect caused by the cultivation of the genetically modified Bt maize variety. However, we were able to record a number of other effects. One effect we found was caused by the variety of maize. For many groups of organisms, even on the level of species, there were differences for the variety Benicia, which is one of our conventional varieties used as a control. It was always a bit out of line with exceptions both higher and lower than others. Apart from that, we were also able to show that there are differences between the different years that effects also depend on the weather, and that different methods of agriculture have an effect, for example, irrigation. One species of Miridae had already caught the attention of the Aachen scientists in a previous project. Therefore, it was chosen as a model organism also for other investigations in the laboratory. Our so-called pet, Trigonotylus celestialium, a Miridae species, is highly interesting because, as we have already shown in the past, it takes up the Bt proteins from the plant. It is therefore exposed to them. Additionally, it is very abundant in the field. That is, it is present in high densities, so we can easily catch it, identify it, and it can also be kept and bred in the lab. Another interesting fact is that this bug can be found almost all over the world. It has been described not only in Canada and in the USA, but also in Russia and various other Asian countries, as well as in Central Europe, and can therefore be used nearly all across the world. Eva Schultheis has managed to establish a Miridae breed stock and to conduct a full life cycle test in the laboratory. For this test, always 20 insects were kept on only one of the different maize varieties, they were studied during the whole life cycle and their development was carefully recorded in a protocol. The scientists also registered how many insects died. We investigated a number of factors in the full life cycle test and one can say that there are differences between the different varieties. This can be seen, for example, in the different duration of nymph development, but there is no clear effect caused by the Bt variety. In summary, one can say that Miridae, which we chose as a representative species, really are a suitable model organism, and we could imagine to conduct a number of other experiments using Miridae.